So I want to show you how to sharpen titanium knives today. There's a little confusion out there. I want to set it straight. So I am a certified chef and a chef instructor, and uh, I've been using these knives for decades, a long, long time. So uh, friends of mine in Japan, Kasumi, they make these knives. I love them. I've been using this one for over 10 years. You can see it's got some, uh, some minimal wear, a little bit of uh, use and abuse. Uh, different people have picked it up and tried it out, and it's been uh, through the test. So this knife's uh, seen a lot of food, trust me. Here's a brand new one in the package. I want to show you this too. The brand new one uh, is really beautiful. Let's take it out. Let's compare these two knives. Let's see if maybe mine's gotten a little bit smaller over the last 10 years. Well, they look about the same. I really like the ergonomical handle, the size, the shape, the balance, the feel. It's a cool knife. So there's only a couple ways I would sharpen a titanium knife. Uh, you can see this one's still in pretty good shape, the brand new one especially. Uh, there's only a few things I'm going to do to sharpen these. So first of all, let me grab a piece of paper and we'll do a test here. This is my highly used knife which needs to be sharpened. I'm going to show you that. Cuts paper. This is the brand new one from Japan right out of the box. Cuts the paper very easily. So let's get this knife as sharp as this knife. Uh, there's a couple things first of all I want to go over. Uh, when the knife's brand new you don't want to scratch it up. Even being used you don't want to scratch it up. So they make this little wheel sharpener. Pretty cool. You score it at the sponsor right there. Uh, the ceramic wheel would be considered finer. This is a diamond, a little coarser. You can pull about any knife through here. Uh, any steel knife would be good and uh, I would use the diamond first and the ceramic second. You fill this with water and these little wheels spin. You pull them right through like this, okay, when it's full of water. This is brand new. I'm not going to use it, but what, what I do like is the fact it only hits the very bottom edge of the knife. doesn't scratch or damage the knife. So consider this as one of your options. And moving along, I'm going to put this on the whetstone and show you uh, the, the other option. When the knife is sharp, like this one, I've also come across these awesome leather straps. You just give it a little polish like this, both sides. Okay, again, there's only one place to get this leather strap. Uh, it's manufactured by the sponsor right there. Now, you can see I just sharpened that knife a little bit more. Just barely touching the paper now and it's just feathering right through there. It's very, very sharp. So I would say the leather strop provides a little more sharpness. Alright, I'm going to show you how I sharpen this one that's been heavily used. I've made a wooden jig to fit over my sink. You can do this. Anybody can do this. I'm using the clip. Get it at your sponsor there. The clip or guide clip fits over the back of the knife. Doesn't scratch the blade. Okay, I've used it many, many times. It has not scratched the blade. It's plastic lined stainless steel. The clip gives you the perfect angle on the sharpening stone. All right, you get the stone wet. I'm using just a little bit of water. There's no need to soak the stone. You just want the water to get the stone wet. That's all you're doing here. Not magic. It's just water. Helps the stone sharpen the knife. Okay, so now I'm going to move this water out of the way. I'm going to use the clip and I'm going to get the angle. The perfect angle, right like this. From the heel to the tip following that guide right down. Three thousand stone made in Japan. Super high quality. I'm moving on to an eight thousand. 
3,000 and 8,000 is what I like for this application. I put a little spacer so it fits just right in there. Here we go, heel to the tip. My big arms in the way here. And again, heel to the tip. All right, I've done even strokes on both sides. Put the clip back here, wipe the knife off, check it on a piece of paper. Here we go. You think it's sharp? Yeah, it's just about like the new one. Of course I mentioned the strop. Let's get that strop back here. Here we go. The, the strop is the sweet finish. I'm just going to give it a little polish like this. Yep, all done. Let's check it on the paper. Yep. That's it. It's just as sharp as the, the new one. Okay? This is a super steel knife. These knives are made out of the best possible elements. The steel, the titanium. I love it. Score all your tools at the sponsor right down there. There should be links uh, throughout the video. There's links to buy the knife, links to buy the clip and the stone, and links to buy the leather strop. Thanks for watching. Smash that like button. Share, subscribe, let's put this knife to the test. That's a half a pair right there. I want to show you just how sharp this knife is. I'm going to cut this pair, tough, tough skin. I'm going to cut this pair into some slices. All the same thickness. It's a nice little slice right there, would look good in a fruit salad. Uh, these slices I did earlier here, let's do them into a little julienne. Mm -hmm. Knife's got a really, really nice rocking motion. There we go. Kind of a fine julienne. That's looking good. Now I got a hard product for you here. I got some dried kiwi fruit. I'll do the same thing with the kiwi fruit. Okay. What I like about the titanium knife, it goes through about any food. This is tough stuff here and nothing sticks to the blade. Okay, it's still clean. Two ones on sale, as well as this cool little sharpener, diamond and ceramic wheel water sharpener. Get the clips, you gotta have the clips. Perfect angle every time. Check it out. They do custom sizes. They do edge grain, end grain, maple, walnut, cherry, islands, counters, tables, cutting boards, chopping blocks. And these babies last for a long, long time. This one here is at least 20 years, 20 years used. You can see just how nice it is. The patina, the quality, wow, I like it. And it's a pleasure to chop on. Yeah. Thank you.
Update your kitchen, contact the sponsor for cutting edge blocks as seen on TV. In this video, I'm using the Kasumi titanium knife. Love it. This one's going on about 10 years. Just keeps going. Blueberries, I like it. Oh yeah, it's gonna be good. Yeah, I'm using one of my favorite high heat spatulas. Watch the next video and learn more about this. Dragon fruit. Now, look at look at what I got here. This is full flavor. This is where all the flavor comes from out of the vanilla bean right there. Uh huh. The sticky. That's what you want right there. Let's put it back in, okay? And we're gonna put this beautiful, beautiful bean right into this jar and get this extract going. I do want some of the seed specks to come out. That was one of the reasons why I split it. And it's quite simple. Here we go. Hello, Chef here once again, uh, bringing you some more valuable information and some facts with some of the finer things in life. Wow, Madagascar vanilla bean. Look at that fat, sticky, soft, juicy bean. 
To get the best vanilla beans, just visit the sponsor. Like I said, these are thick, sticky, fat, juicy, number one grade Madagascar beans. They also have a variety of beans from all over the world. You can also contact the sponsor if you need gallons. The beans are uh, fully uh, fermented now. Uh, they've, they've some of the flavors extracted into the liquor and this is ready to go. This is going to be really good. It's going to be strong. I use a clean uh, white towel. Wipe off any excess oil that's there. This cutting board, like I said, is over 10 years old. A little bit of excess oil. It's over 10 years old and it's just going strong. Love it. Check out your sponsor. They got all these babies on sale. They ship for free. It's the best cutting board you can buy right there. Oh yeah. Select Hard Rock Maple is the chef's choice. Choose from several sizes. With a juice groove, without a juice groove, reversible, charcuterie board, solid walnut, solid cherry, even walnut rustic grain, reversible, round, square, rectangle, free shipping, Oh, it's going to be good. Wow, the Jambus Cucina Elegante, handcrafted with the finest American hardwoods, food service grade stainless steel. The Elegante features inch and a half thick butcher block, available in several sizes and with several options. Call your sponsor and save money. Ask for a discount. Oh, yeah, it's going to be good. Boost blocks. Buy the best the first time. Save money.
oh so nice to cut on. Contact the sponsor. They're having a sale and I know there's free shipping as well. Professional cutting boards, chopping blocks, butcher blocks, custom sizes, 